This lesson will work to understand and solve two-digit dividend division problems with the remainder in the ones place by using place value disks. Okay, here we have the problem, eight ones divided by four. Eight ones represents what? It represents the whole, the total, or what you're dividing. So let's model that within the place value chart first. We have eight ones there. What are we dividing by? Right, we're dividing by four. Let's assume it's telling us how many groups to make. So we're going to go ahead and draw four groups below inside our place value chart. We have one group, two groups, three groups, and four groups within our place value chart. Think of it kind of like dealing cards among four players. First, we'll put one within each of those groups. So we took one, two, three, and four. Can we put another one in? Well, it looks like we have four left, so we can, right? So we have one, two, three, and four. We'll cross those out as well. So we have eight ones divided by four. Are there any left over? Nope. How many ones are in each of our four groups? There's two. So eight ones divided by four is equal to what? It equals two ones. And two ones is equal to what? Within standard form. Right, two. Let's read the whole number sentence again. Eight ones divided by four equals two ones. So again, we modeled the number first. Since we were dividing by four, we made four groups there, and then we started placing those right within our place value chart. Here we have 36 divided by 3, and then so we have tens and ones for the number that we are dividing. 36 divided by 3 is what? 3 what? Right, it's 3 tens, and what else? six ones. Next, what are we dividing by? Right, we're dividing by three. So we're going to make room for three groups below. We have one group, two groups, and three groups. Let's start by dividing the largest unit. Which is larger, ones or tens? Right, tens. And so we have three tens that we are dividing. So we have three tens. We divide it by three. We do get one ten. That's our answer there. And that'll go along with our other part of our answer where we're dividing those ones. Three of them. Four, five, and Six, one ten, two ones, which also equals twelve. So thirty six divided by three equals twelve. We started with three tens, and when we divided three tens by three, we did get one ten. And when we divided six ones by three, we did get two ones. Putting that together, we had one ten and two ones, which also was equal to twelve. Can you try right along with me? So let's do the work together. We have tens, and then we also have ones, where we have six tens, five ones. Model it in your place value chart.
Is that what you did to model it? What are we dividing by? 2. Pause the video while you continue your work. Remember, there'd be two groups then. We'll divide those tens first. So that six tens divided by two does give you three tens. And when we're dividing those five ones, two, oops, there's a remainder in this case. So that's three tens, two ones, with the remainder of one, one. So our answer there is three tens and two ones gives you the number 32, and the remainder is one. Six tens, five ones divided by two is 32 with the remainder of one. Let's show you the long division that goes with this. We were dividing 65. What are we dividing by? Two. What we do is we divide the largest place first. In this case, this is the tens place. And we go six divided by two, or six tens divided by two, which is three. Three times two gives you six. Six minus six gives you zero and we bring down the five. That five was five ones, and we're taking five ones divided by two, which is two, because two times two is four, and five minus four is one. That one was our remainder. So just as our place value chart got us the answer 32, remainder one, our long division also shows you this. Let's do one last problem. Six tens, eight ones divided by three. Six tens, eight ones is what number? Right, 68, or 68 divided by three. Let's see what that equals. We have tens and we have ones. It was six tens, so we model that first. And eight ones, and then we can also model that within our place value chart. How many groups? Well, we're dividing by three, so there better be three groups. Do we start with the tens place or the ones place? Right, the tens place. And we're going six tens divided by three, which is two tens. So there should be two within each of those three groups. That was two, four, six. For the eight ones, we also can distribute them amongst the groups. And in this case, we have two ones that'll be left over. In other words, two ones will be our remainder. We're left with two tens, two ones as our answer. Two tens, two ones is also twenty-two. So it's 22 with a remainder of 2. Let's look at the long division that works with this problem. Again, we are taking 68, and we are dividing by 3. So to set up that long division, the dividend, or what we're dividing, goes right here, and our divisor, what we're dividing by, goes right here. We do start in the tens place or the largest place in this case, and we're dividing two-digit numbers, so the largest place is the tens place. Six tens divided by three is equal to two tens, so we will place the two right there. Our next step is to multiply two times three, which gives you six. Six minus six, which is zero, and we bring down the eight ones, and that's what we divide next. We have eight ones divided by three. Three goes into eight two whole times, because two times three is six, and 8 minus 6 is 2. So our remainder is 2. 68 divided by 3 equals 22 with the remainder of 2. So we have some different ways to go ahead and show our work where we are using those divisions using disks. 
And then we are also showing you how it is to work through that long division. One last thing to take a look at is that we can check this work. And then so the inverse operation of division is multiplication. So what we'll do is we'll take 22 and we'll multiply by that divisor that we had, which was 3. 3 times 2, which is 6. 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we add the remainder back in. So 66 plus 2 is 68. And 68 matches what it is that we were dividing.